Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning for this podcast. Please remember that we do upload these shows to www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. And of course, you can watch them there whenever you want. Or if you're watching live, appreciate that as well. Traffic today, pretty rough going into Baton Rouge on I-12 westbound. Looking at delays just past Sherwood all the way back to Jubin Road. Just a lot of intermittent, oh, I think I'm going to get going to that. No. So it's going to be heavy, heavy, heavy backups, uh, causing a lot of delays on the surface streets, especially at 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190 in Denham Springs. You're also looking at delays on 64 heading into Central, as well as some delays in and around the larger high schools. However, we did get a late start this morning. Do apologize for that. Current temperature is 54 degrees, 62 degrees is your high, 45 your overnight low. Looking at some cloudy weather today, but not not too bad. Going to get up into the 60s, be kind of nice. Uh, so some decent weather coming over the next couple of days. However, as we know, it kind of nasty this morning. So please be careful out there on the roads. Yesterday, Walker held their official groundbreaking for their new $5.9 million city hall. The hall, uh, the new building is being funded by uh, a steep increase in gas revenues uh, since utility rates were increased back in about 2012, uh, and especially since Walker has expanded their gas lines, they now service uh, 87% of their service areas outside of the city limits. So they're gathering a lot of uh, uh, revenue from that. They're up to about 3.2 million dollars a year, looking to get that. City Hall paid off pretty quickly. They're also going to be able to lease out the third floor. It's going to be a three-floor three floor building. And as soon as they need that third floor, well, they're just going to have to ask their tenant to leave. So there's a, a lot of positives, a lot of looking for future growth there in Walker. A lot of heavy, re, a lot of heavy revenue increases in the utility department. Uh, also, they have, have worked for a long time, uh, over a year with Labar Associates, trying to get all these drawings together, trying to get everything set. The bar, of course, specializes in site design and uh, commercial construction. Drop my pen. <laughs> so, going to be, uh, it should be a smooth ride. Of course, the amount of time for construction is going to be weather dependent. Uh, so, that got started. Uh, official groundbreaking yesterday. However, there is uh, already a pad of dirt there. It's going to be up about a foot above everything else around it. Uh, a, a large building, three stories, as we mentioned. 32-year-old Michael Hankins uh, was involved in a fatal crash yesterday on 447 South, uh, just south of Walker there. Uh, for reasons unknown, according to state police, Hankins crossed the center line, smacked into a 2007 Silverado. That driver sustained heavy injuries. Hankins himself survived, or, or excuse me, sustained heavy injuries. Both ended up in the hospital. Hankins was pronounced dead. That accident is still under investigation. Uh, Walker girls topped Karen Crow 55 to 30. Walker boys topped Karen Crow 65 to 45. St. Thomas, the little things added up for St. Thomas. Mr. Rob DeArmond was at that game last night. The St. Thomas boys topped Springfield 49 to 45. Springfield had some some good runs early. We're staying ahead, uh, but a few mistakes in the second half caught up with them. St. Thomas was able to come back, pull out with a 49 to 45 win. Red Hot Live Oak came out swinging and pumping on all fours, and uh, they dominated Denham Springs, uh, 59-34. to They'd be the Live Oak boys. So uh, there's a couple of scores for you. Of course, we'll be coming out with some more scores over the rest of the, rest of the week. Uh, please keep an eye on www.livingstonparishnews.com. Backslash sports as more books start coming in from Monday and Tuesday action. William Weathers and Rob DeArmond get that online for you. A recent announcement, the headliner for this year's Livingston Parish Library Comic-Con is Miss Claudia Gray. She is a, uh, a native of Louisiana and has written a, a ton of Star Wars books into the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And she will be the headliner at this year's Livingston Parish Comic-Con, which is on February 15th at the Denham Springs Walker Branch Library. It's a chance for local kids to, to experience and enjoy Comic-Con without having to go down to New Orleans and pay several hundred dollars. Comic-Con continues to get more and more expensive every year, so the library is trying to offer a more uh, uh, dollar-friendly event here locally in 
Livingston Parish. So thank you to the library for that. Again, Miss Claudia Gray, a Star Wars author, is going to be the headliner for this year's Comic-Con. That's February 15th at the Denham Springs Walker Branch Library. Short show today, uh, kind, of a, kind of a slow day yesterday on Tuesday. So again, your traffic, you're looking at heavy delays starting at Sherwood, backed up all the way to Jubin Road on I-12 westbound. Please keep that in mind. Terrible, terrible delays. Starting to cause delays at 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190 as folks try to switch to go to those surface streets. Heavy delays, uh, I'm sorry, minor delays on 64 heading into Central with some heavy delays on Greenville Springs. Also looking at uh, clearing up in and around the high schools as those folks drop their kids off at school and get on to work. 54 degrees is your current temperature. 62 degrees your overnight is your high today. Having trouble this morning. Let me start over with that secondary <laughs> announcement of the weather. 54 degrees is your is your current temperature. 62 degrees your high. 45 degrees your overnight low. This nasty weather is going to move out a little bit. It's still going to be a little cloudy today, uh, but going to get up into the 60s. And of course, as mentioned, 45 your overnight low. Once again, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Please remember that we are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Once a week in print on Thursdays, we are online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We also have an app to go with that. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a safe trip into work this morning, and we will see you tomorrow.